SSCGN stands for Simple Subcubic Graph Number. This creates a sequence of simple subcubic graphs. The sequence looks like this. It goes from graph number 1 all the way to graph number M. M is the value of SSCGN. Simple subcubic graphs have two main components. This is a vertex. And this is an edge. A simple subcubic graph can have a single vertex. It can also have many vertices connected with edges. Simple subcubic graphs can be of any shape. One odd rule about simple subcubic graphs is that the vertices are not required to be connected. So that means that this whole thing can be one entire graph. But the important rule about simple subcubic graphs is that each vertex can only have a maximum of three edges. Let's kind of get back to SSCGN. Let's say we have a number i, which is less than number j. If i is lesser than j, then graph number i cannot be a graph minor of graph number j. Now let's talk about graph minors. Graph number i is a graph minor of graph number j. If graph number j can be reduced to graph number i by doing any of the following steps in any order. Delete the vertex or edge. Merge two vertices that share an edge. Let's have these two graphs. Let's see if graph number j can be converted to graph number i by doing any of the steps above. Let's try doing the first step. Let's delete this vertex. Now let's try to do the second step. Let's merge these two vertices. Then let's merge these two vertices. As you can see, graph number J is now converted to graph number I. So we can say that graph number I is a graph minor of graph number J. But if you turn the vertices like this, graph number i is no longer a graph minor of graph number j. Now that we know what a graph minor is, let's get back to SSCGN. But notice how we haven't talked about n yet. You will now see what the function of this variable is. Each one of these graphs can have a maximum number of vertices. Graph number 1 can have a maximum of 1 plus n vertices. Graph number 2 can have a maximum of 2 plus n vertices. And this sequence goes on. Each graph number can have plus n vertices. Let's try SSCG0. Each one of these graphs can have plus zero vertices. Okay, let's try plotting the graphs of SSCG0. So graph number one can have only one vertex. Graph number two cannot have any vertices. 
as graph number 1 will be a graph minor of any graph. So we can have an empty graph. And this is where SSCG0 ends. SSCG0 is equal to 2. Now let's try SSCG1. Each graph can have plus 1 vertices. Graph number 1 can have 2 vertices connected with an edge. Graph number 2 can have 3 separate vertices. Graph number 3 can have 2 separate vertices. Graph number 4 can have one vertex. Then finally, we can have an empty graph. So graph number 5 is the last graph that can be made with SSCG1. Now let's try SSCG2. In SSCG2, the first graph can start with three vertices. Now this creates a much longer sequence. The last graph in SSCG2 is more or less this number. If we do SSCG3, our first graph can start with four vertices. Now SSCG3 is greater than tree 3, even bigger than tree tree 3.